So welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group. In today's small video section, we are going to see pressurized and non-pressurized gating system. In last video, we have seen how to calculate down through area, runner bar area, and ingate area. Now in this video, we are going to use these areas to see how to distinguish between pressurized and non-pressurized gating system. So again, we have a small revision on last video that is down through area is equal to 0 0.7854 into square of diameter of down through. Runner bar area is equal to bottom width plus top width of runner bar divided by two into height of runner bar. And last one was ingate area is equal to ingate width into ingate height. So these are the uh, basic formulas we have learned last in last video. Now we're going to use this formula use this concept, use these areas to analyze whether our system is pressurized or non-pressurized getting system. So pressurized getting, getting system and non-pressurized getting system. Once you, can once you calculate these areas, you can easily decide whether the system is pressurized or non-pressurized. Area and the ratio of these three areas will decide whether it is pressurized getting system or non-pressurized getting system. So first of all, we are going to see pressurized getting system. Here, the smallest area is your choke. So runner bar remains full at all the time, keeping back pressure and hence maintaining the system full at all the time. This is mainly used in gray cast iron parts. Here, the ratio of down screw, runner bar and in gate is one as to 1.2 as to 0.8. So remember ratio of down screw runner and in gate is 1 as to 1.2 as to 0.8 in pressurized getting system. Back pressure is maintained by restri uh, restrictions in the metal flow. Flow of liquid that is volume is almost equal for all the in gates. Back pressure helps in reducing the aspiration as screw always run through. So screw is always full here and there will be a back pressure keeping the runner bar and the system full all the time. The choke, which is the smallest area or sub smallest cross section area in the getting system used to control flow can be placed near to the down screw well as to slow down and smooth out the flow. The getting system may also design to trap draws. So this getting system is, uh, may be designed for trapping the draws that is slagged Flag or flowing from the metal. Choke is the smallest area in the system which may be your screw or runner bar or choke that you have provided or in gate or separately placed filter. So it may be any but anything. Choke may be anything. It, may, it is the smallest area in your system. So this is pressure getting system mainly used in gray cast iron. The ratio of pressure getting system is 1 as to 1.2 as to 0.8, you can see down screw is 1, runner bar is 1.2, that is more than down screw, and the smallest area is the, your choke area, that is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is the smallest area. So as choke area is small, runner bar will pull and down screw will also be full. So the pressure will be created, backward pressure will be created in the system. So you can see here example down screw of diameter 30, runner bar, 30 into 40 into 25, one number, in gate 22 into six, four number, we have to calculate whether this system is pressurized or non-pressurized. So let us calculate these areas. Down screw diameter of 30, that is 0.7854 into 30 into 30, that is 706.86 square mm square is your down screw area. Runner bar 30 into 40 into 25, such one down one runner bar is there. So 30 plus 40 divided by 2 into 25, that is 875 square mm is the area for runner bar. Ingate area is 22 into 6. Such four ingates are there. So 22 into 6 into 4, that is 528 square mm is the ingate area. So this is how 706, 875, and 528 is the uh, area of down screw, runner bar, and choke or in gate we can say respectively. We can say here in gate works as a choke. So it is a pressurized getting system, keeping all the system uh, full uh, at the, uh, towards the down screw uh, by making a backward pressure 
on runner bar and down screw. So down, uh, we, are, we are taking another example. Down screw is 35 mm, runner bar is 20 into 25 into 30 mm. Ingate is 35 into 8, such so three ingates are there. Now we have to decide whether it is uh, pressurized or non-pressurized. You can see here the calculation, down screw 39, area is 1195 runner bar is 20 25 30 that is 100 and 1050 square mm mm square is the runner bar area in gate 35 into 8 into 3 that is 840 square mm is the in gate area so 1195 10 100, 100 1050 and 840 is the in gate so you can see the, again choke is at in gate so you can say this is a pressurized getting system your ingate area is the smallest area, so keeping backward pressure on the system, keeping system full all the time. So this is about the pressurized getting system. So now we go to non-pressurized getting system. Here, the smallest area is your down screw. So whatever metal you pour will be entered into the casting through available runner bar and ingate area. Here, the ratio of down screw, runner bar, and ingate is 1 as to 1.2 as to 1.4. The system is mainly used in ductile iron or agian parts. non pressure gating system, it is mainly used in ductile iron or agian parts. The ratio of pressurized getting, uh, non pressurized gating system is 1 as to 1.2 as to 1.4. So 1 as to 1.2 as to 1.4 is the ratio where you can see down screw is the lowest or smallest area where your ingate area is free. Uh, whatever metal you pour can easily go through runner bar and ingate. There is no restriction, there is no choke, or there is no back pressure as well. So example here, down screw diameter 30, runner bar 30 into 25 into 20, one number, choke area 35 into 8, such four ingates are there. So now we have to decide, calculate and then decide whether it is pressurized or non-pressurized getting system. So let us find out the Vol, uh, volumes or area, down screw area is diameter of 30, that is 0.8754 into 30 into 30, that is 706.86 square mm. Runner bar is 30 into 25 into 20, that is 30 plus 40 divided by 2 into 30, that is 825 square mm. And choke area, that is ingate area, you can say, not choke area, it is an ingate area rather, 35 into 8. Such four ingots are there, so 35 into 8 into 4, that is 1120 square mm is your ingot area. So if you see, the down screw is 706, runner bar is 825, and ingot is 1120. So you can see the down screw is having smallest area, and uh, ingot is having maximum area. So whatever metal you pour through down screw will get through your runner bar and in get area uh, flowing freely. So there is no restriction. There is no there is no uh, restriction in the metal flow. There is no backward pressure, and that is why it is called as non-pressurized getting system. Let us see another example where down screw is 39. So the area is 1195. Runner bar is 30 plus 40 into 35. That is. 1225 square mm is the runner bar area. Ingate area 35 into 8 into 6, that is 1680 square mm. So you can see 1195, 1225, and 1680. And you can see there is no backward pressure. There is the smallest area is your down screw. So you can see here it is a non pressurized getting system. So some comparison of getting system that is pressurized getting system versus non pressurized getting system. The total cross sectional area decreases towards mold cavity, total cross sectional area increases towards mold cavity. So, mold cavity is the ingate area. So, ingate area in the pressurized getting system will is the smallest one, whereas in non pressurized getting system, the ingate area is the highest one. So, it is free. So, you can uh, this is how it is compared. So more turbulence and chances of mold erosion in the pressurized because of backward pressure, less turbulence and less chances of mold erosion in a non-pressurized getting system. Flow of liquid metal is almost equal from all ingots in pressurized getting system, whereas in non-pressurized getting system, the different uh, from each ingate area, ingate flow will be there. 
So pressure irrigation system casting yield will be more because runner bar, ingot sizes all are optimized. Whereas in non-pressure irrigating system, the casting yield is less because uh, the runner bar and ingot sizes are not optimized. Complex and thin sections can be successfully casted in the pressure irrigating system, whereas it is difficult to cast complex and thin sections in unpressurized getting system. This is a small comparison. Basically, both pressurized and non-pressurized getting systems have their own basic advantages and disadvantages. It depends on the casting, depends on the uh, geometry, depends on your box size and all the, uh, you can say, uh, factors that your foundry infrastructure is having, that your process is having, can decide whether you can go for pressurized or non-pressurized. Both systems have their own basic advantages and disadvantages as well. You have to decide on the basis of your process, the basic or base, uh, the basis of the geometry of the casting, requirement of the casting, whether you can go for pressurized system or non-pressurized system. So there is one case study as well for the gray cast iron. Uh, the problem observed is cold. Cold line was observed. Uh, you can see here, cold line was observed or noticed in the cope half of the casting. This was mainly due to improper ratio of getting system. Due to non-pressurized getting system, metal velocity was insufficient to flow the metal against the gravity resulting in the cold. So the back pressure uh, was not maintained or there is no insufficient pressure here was maintained uh, due to non-pressurized getting system. So what happened, the pressure on the ingot is achieved by keeping runner bar area 1.2 times than that of ingot area. Pouring time is reduced by two seconds. Previous pouring time was 10 to 12 seconds. Now new pouring time is eight to 10 seconds. Chemistry and pouring temperature was unchanged. So you can find the difference before and after in this uh, next couple of slides down through area. Earlier was 768, now it is again 780, sorry, 786, now it is again 786. Runner bar area 600 mm square, now it is increased to 1000 square mm. So runner bar area is increased. Ingate area 850 mm square earlier, now it is 700 mm square. So ingate area in, is decreased and runner bar area is increased. Ingate area decreased and runner bar area increased to make non-pressurized getting system into pressurized getting system. You can see in next slide, down through one, runner bar 0.76, ingot 1.1. So it, earlier it is, uh, we can say non-pressurized getting system, but after the change, you can see down through one, runner bar 1.27 and ingot area is 0.9. So you can see all the, uh, the smallest area in the, system is your ingot area. So there, is, there will be back pressure. There will be a sufficient head. They will, they, it, uh, metal will get. And because of that, there will be no cold shut as well. So pouring time, earlier it was 10 to 12 seconds. Now it is 8 to 10 seconds. And type of getting that is earlier it, is, it was non-pressurized getting system. Now it is pressurized getting system. So you can see here the ratios 78600. 850, uh, it is converted into 786,700. So non-pressurized getting system is converted into pressurized getting system. And by doing this, the uh, coal line in the cope half was, is uh, totally eliminated or the problem is got resolved. So this is what we have seen. So we have seen some basic getting calculations like areas, then we have seen pressurized and non-pressurized getting system through this uh, video so far. And now in the next video, we're going to see how to calculate pouring time of the casting. So till then, take care, bye-bye.